Los golpes aquí van a estar perfectamente bien. Traen el calzón un poquito alto. Cuidado con las cabezas, buena suerte y a la esquina esperar la campana. Buena suerte a los dos. You're going to have that battle right away whether Ruiz can establish that reach and use it well. Seha come out with two pawing jabs. But it's been there. Body shot by Ruiz. Seha trying to get inside. Ruiz could see everything. Seha definitely wants to get inside of Ruiz. But he can't just walk in. He's got to punch him. He's got to move his head off that center line and work his way on the inside. He's landed that counter left hook to the body and just missed landing it to the head. There's a cover charge coming in here. <laughs> Seha's connect with those last two punches. Yeah, nice hook, and then there's the uppercut by Ruiz. <laughs> These guys are banked. So we come to the end of the opening round, and it's been a good one. Good opening round for Ruiz was in the darker, more complete green. And in that opening round, Joey, sometimes we see power punchers might be crushing. Seha did a better job. He actually stumbled Ruiz a little bit. I don't think it was a, a, a damaging punch. It was that nice right uppercut. Ruiz did a great job timing Seha, moving his head right in that center line and snapped it back. And Seha, who walked into the money punch from a slugger, that was a good sign for him because he was Drilled right on the butt. An interesting contrast of styles here when you see Ruiz, more of a sharpshooter. Fires overhands and kind of loopy hooks, but he's been landing at a higher frequency of the two. Or dips to the outside, he'll counter, and when he comes back to that center, he'll roll out either to the left or right. And it's been a good second round for Say hi. So a good first round for Ruiz and a good bullying second round for Seha. Locked up in a good one at 122 pounds. Dave Bon Tempo and Joey Varner with you here on Premier Boxing Champions in Los Angeles. Good matchup of number one and number three in the WC's version of the 122 pound champion. Ruiz stopped to kind of touch his forehead and complain about it. Seha opened up and Ruiz just slipped that right up and right up the middle. As Seha opens up with a loop, a loopy punch, Ruiz is doing a good job of beating him with a center shot and a straight or an uppercut down the middle before the loopy punch of Seha. He seems that it brings him alive. He presses the action more. He starts firing more punches and coming harder at Ruiz than with, with the punching onslaught. Left hook by Seha. Ruiz trying to keep him off with the jab, but knows that he has to do something in the power department to keep He's Seha doing, honest. He slipped right outside that cross, just like he did there. He pulled off that right hand and landed a left hand over the top of his own. Good shots by both. The left hook by Ruiz and the straight right by Seha. Good left hook and down goes Seha as he walked into trouble. Just like in round one. He said he was getting braver. Maybe a little too brave there. How does Ruiz feel about this opportunity? Say how did get up quickly. He tried to go for the finish. Or does he believe that Seha is okay? Terrific hook by Ruiz. Opening up, Seha hands down. Dangerous spot and a big right hand by Ruiz. The bell can't save you, but for Seha, it would be divine intervention. Here, let's take a look back at that knockdown. You see that right hand comes. And just as Seha comes rushing in, eats the left hook, tastes the canvas. Seha opens up with the loopy punches. It's the shorter, tight punches of Ruiz that make their mark first. Knocked down in round three by Ruiz. Seha 
Josh fronts it off as if it's yesterday's news. If you take away the punch power of both fighters, um, only difference though is that Ruiz in this case has the reach advantage and Juarez would have the reach disadvantage in this fight with Leo Santa Cruz. Some things will be the same, some will vary a bit as you look at the attack from Seha. And you know, the thing that really made it happen for Ruiz was the quick shift in feet. He wasn't really in position, he sort of shifted his weight. Good hook by Seha. Seha not fighting this round like a man who was almost knocked out in the previous. He's getting drilled like he did at certain points in that last round. He's opening up, taking his chances. And also you means see a guy like this is never out of a fight well, from a power stand. And you see Seha trying to hammer oh, away at Ruiz, but he gets oh, nailed every right. time he does. Oh, cut by Seha. So as we come to the end of round four, Seha continues to get drilled, but keeps coming forward. Into round five, scheduled for 12. Wild miss here by Seha. Well, what he's doing right now to get into position is he's punching into position. But another way to do it instead of punching into position is move your head into position. Bully Ruiz with your footwork and your head movement. When, when guys bob and weave to get inside and then slip to, to get into punching position, we see some guys, they're in perfect position after they get inside. And some guys, it throws off their position. So he talked about when Ruiz knocked down Seha was that, was that last little adjustment with his footwork, adjusting his feet. Is adjust those feet, keep those feet under you as a punch, but also adjust, make those little split-second adjustments as your distance changes, as your opponent moves. Good paced battle here. Good hook and down goes Ruiz. You knock me down, I knock you down. What a terrific fight between the number one and number three contenders at 122. And here comes Seha thinking this is his opportunity. You don't know how many you're going to get. He opens up, trying to make his case to the referee. Another big hook. Ruiz is in deep trouble. Smart enough to hang on, a lot of time to kill. And that's it, he can't kill it. Sudden opportunity and sudden victory. For Julio Cesar Seja. Raul Caí Sr. waves off the bat for your winner by knockout. Julio Cesar Boyito Seja.